Ken's Hot Down on the Truck. So we get off the plane and two things hit you. One, the humidity and also the temperature. It is an absolute furnace when you get off the plane. So brace yourselves. As you come off the uh, tarmac, you'll see a sign that says state of took rather than the state of truck, yeah. which we will be calling it. And like many traditions, you have to go and get a photograph of yourself taken next to it. This is Karen. And then, obviously, it's my obligatory turn to go over there and to uh, have a photograph taken, where I'm talking about the fact it's taken me so long to get here. Very profound words by me. Now, when you get into the airport and get your baggage, it's not quite like the usual airport carousel. Uh, it's two blokes who've taken everything off the plane, and then they've put it into a lorry, and then literally throw it off the back of the lorry onto this which is their version of the carousel whereupon everybody i believe in the island comes across and just helps themselves to whatever they think is theirs uh, huge entertainment but we got our bags and outside more people waiting for friends and family or just queuing up to see what bags they can have off the carousel we were met by the uh, agents of the blue lagoon and off we went on to the main roads on the island as you can see, it had rain recently, but it's all drying out. It's a really, really beautiful place. It is a poor area. It is part of the developing world. But the roads are fantastic for the first few hundred yards. And then they seem to be completely cratered like an airfield after a bobby raid. No, I have no idea what the driver was listening to on the radio. It seemed very psychedelic, a bit strange to me. But finally, we pulled into the driveway of the Blue Lagoon Resort, ready for our night. First day, we've actually got here after a long and arduous journey, as you may have seen on the, some of the footage that we've done recently. Um, and we've got here and to truck and to the resort that we're staying at at the moment. And over my shoulder, which is just over there, is the boat that will be going on tomorrow that will take us around the atoll but i'll show you around the resort a little bit further now as tradition dictates if it is raining really heavily you do have to film it it's uh, one of those unsaid things that us brits have to do it's uh, 6 a.m um, and we're getting on a boat very soon, well, in a few hours. But I thought I'd just uh, piss people off by uh, showing you where I'm currently bathing around in what can only be described as a bath. Really, it's a bath. It's uh, really warm and you can just lay back. I won't do because you don't really want to see any of the body. Just ahead is probably enough for most people. That's Andy. Hello, Andy. Good morning. There we go. No video vlog will be worth its salt without a few of these Ponzi RT uh, shots of the island and of beaches. So here we go and you can enjoy. area is absolutely lovely and so is the result. Uh, the facilities are okay, staff are really friendly and the grounds are kept absolutely immaculate. Uh, this is the uh, restaurant we can eat in, it's reasonably priced, food is a bit, it's okay. And uh, this is the state of the beds. By the way, the mattresses here are as hard as wood and this is the view from the balcony of the room that we had. The next day was time for us to get onto the actual boat. As you can see, the weather had changed to a little bit wet. And so the only way to get to that boat is by getting on another boat, by stepping onto a boat and then hoping that you don't fall in. As you can see, a few of us were a little bit uh, sure of ourselves and others like me were a little bit like Bambi on ice. 
The uh, boat trip out was a little bit choppy with the rain and as you can see some people like Steve there were very short footed. And then that's it, we are enjoying the rest of the boat and the night, having a few drinks and just enjoying the sunset in the island of Tuk. <laughs>